Welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today's video is all about outdoor dining. Let's get first up guys. I'm gonna start with adjusting the tables. I've had these tables for about three or four years and it was always difficult to move the tables around once they were set. So I decided to place wheels on the bottom legs of the tables so that it would be a whole lot easier to move the tables around and get them in different positions. First up guys is the Jute Circular Table Runner. I absolutely love this table runner. I picked it up at the local home goods store. It is adding texture, it is giving me a different element and a different color. It's bringing in the tan that we're gonna add to this tablescape. Then I decided to use these gorgeous ribbed yellow placemats and I'm going to mix it up and place a silver large charger on the table and then I'm going to add elements of height. This large candle holder, or the way it was sold as a candle holder, I'm gonna use this as an actual vase for the organic floral arrangement that I will be creating for this tablescape. Also, I'm going to add in um, a stand. And this stand is going to be the centerpiece of the table and it's gonna give another height element to the table as well. Placing the white bowls on top of the table is another element of texture. And then placing some type of arrangement inside of the bowl. Either you can use edible fruit. Right now, today, I'm gonna use a faux topiary ball and it just gives it a different color, bringing in that green, tying that in with the outdoors. Again, mixing that with a natural jute table runner. All of these elements are natural since we're outdoors, but they also add an element of style. Outdoor dining is all about adding indoor elements to the outside, making your outdoor dining a feel, feel as though you're located inside of your home. So I'm going to achieve this look by adding an outdoor wall art feature to the post. I absolutely love this gold basket. This I've had for about 10, maybe 15 years, guys. I just continue to paint it a different color, use it in different areas. But for this particular purpose, we're gonna use it outdoor. I'm placing topiary balls, different colors, different sizes inside of it. And then I'm going to hang some green foliage from it. I think it's absolutely amazing the way that it actually turned out. Back to the outdoor tablescape. Right now I'm going to actually start to create the outdoor floral by using these gorgeous yellow stems. I'm gonna mix it with a purple stem and then also a large branch just to give it that organic feel and the look. So I place the branch inside and then I'm going to fill this with sand so to keep everything in position. But right now I'm just making it, a, I'm just arranging the floral just to my liking and you guys can do the same thing with any type of floral that you wanna utilize. As you can see, I'm taking the sand and 
I'm filling up the vase. Now this is done for a few functional reasons. One is the sand will keep the floral in place. And the second is because this is an outdoor arrangement, I don't want it to blow away when it gets very windy. And so I'm gonna fill it up and make it extremely heavy so that when it gets windy, it will not blow. Adding as much candlelight as possible is necessary for any outdoor dining because usually you're going to go from brunch to dinner and the candles on a dining table is absolutely amazing. It just gives a different light, a different glow, and it sets the ambiance. I absolutely love the way this backyard dining table turned out. It looks absolutely amazing with all of the wonderful colors, the yellow, the purple, the branch. And then I just set it up and I had a few extra candle holders, candles inside. I've got faux candles and I have battery operated candles. And then you can just add different elements. I placed uh, bread baskets on the table and it just gives it a different look as well. And it just adds a lot of warmth to the table. Here's a quick view of the outdoor living space that's adjacent to the outdoor dining. I did create a video that will show you exactly how this outdoor living room was created and the link will be in the description box and above. At night, this dining space comes alive. It is absolutely gorgeous with the overhead lights that are hanging. These three lights that are over the table are from Ikea. I will leave a link in the description as well so you can pick up these lights. I think it's absolutely amazing to have so many different textures and it just creates the outdoor ambiance that you're desiring. From the candles on the table to the overhead lights, the glim that you get from that onto the yellow flowers and the purple, the large vase with the flickered candles and the mix of colors in terms of the tan and the green, it just creates the perfect tablescape. Hi guys, welcome back to Creating with Mimi. And today I'm going to show you how you can make your backyard look like this. Okay guys, today we're gonna focus on the spa and fireplace. So I'm not sure if this is part three of the backyard makeover, but this is what we're focusing on today. These particular um, plants that you see here are I guess they've been sitting out here for about three or four years and they're real branches. Very, very real. If you break them, they're very delicate. Um, 
branches, but then I've enhanced them by having some artificial plants around them. And it's taken them three years to look this bad. Um, maybe it's been four years. I'm gonna leave the pots white, but I am gonna touch up on the uh, branches and make them white. And then I'm gonna place a different color uh, artificial plant around them to enhance it. And I actually sit them on the, around the spa because I want it natural or some type of plant there, but I didn't have any water to come to that area to actually feed it. And then for those of you saying, well, you could water it every day. Yeah, but when you're busy and when you have a full-time job, you don't have time to water plants every single day. You just don't. Uh, you spend so many hours commuting and you just don't have time to do that. So, and the other problem with having plants around the spa area is the vase would need to be drained and that water and dirt would run into the spa and then into the pool. So we're going to work with the artificial because it's been working and it does give it an excellent look. So when you guys, when you see the finished product, you'll understand what it is that I'm saying. But this again is part five of the backyard makeover for the season. And yeah, we're gonna get started. I've already placed my boards down, my cardboard boxes down so that I don't damage the existing concrete. And I'm just gonna spray over here and this area. The lovely white branches have been sprayed and now they're bright white again for the most part. And the pot, I didn't need to respray it this season. And I will start to place the faux green branches inside of the pots just to add a little bit more texture and color to the area. I removed the faux pink and white. I believe I've had those for about three or four years and now I'm going to start working with the green. I absolutely love the green foliage there because green is our color this year that we're bringing in. So I'm only enhancing and spreading that, sprinkling that color throughout the backyard and the fireplace area here. I will add uh, green around this vase as well. This year, I've decided to up my game a little bit and add lighting to most of the trees and branches that are in this backyard. So what you see here is I'm installing a solar light pick uh, inside of the branches. It's difficult to see, but I've already covered the individual white branches with another solar wire type light and guys at nighttime this backyard comes alive this was such a small element to add but it would gave such a huge impact in terms of the design the layout and the lighting don't want to forget about lighting in any type of design whether it's indoor or outdoor lighting is the icing on the cake so I'm just adding a little bit of lighting in here and I'm separating the branches. I will enclose or I, I will include this inside of the description uh, box and you guys can click on the link and order this lighting. Again, it was a huge impact and super, super inexpensive for the results. All items have been resprayed. I've added some topiary plants box topiary that I just picked up at the local TJ Maxx and home goods store and I placed those in front of the fire and since you know I'm trying to enjoy the backyard I did start the fire today just so that I can have some time to sit out and relax a little bit after I set up this fabric for the uh, green cushions is absolutely lovely. It is a thick fabric. It's not necessarily an outdoor fabric, but I'm okay with that because I switch my fabrics every two to three years. This green color is the same color that we have in the outdoor living video. 
So I'll leave the link for that video if you guys want to check that video out. It is spectacular for creating an outdoor living space. I added Velcro this year to the seat cushions because we've had these for some time, but I noticed that after about two or three hours of sitting there, the seat cushions move around and they start to look a little uh, janky. That's a good word. And so I added the Velcro to stabilize the seat cushions and to make it a little bit more comfortable for individuals that are sitting there by the fireplace. As you can see right now, that fire is just kicking and it's so inviting. All of the pillows have been added on top of the cushions. And so I alternated between colors. You see the green pattern uh, pillow and then you see the white pillow. It just gives it a little bit more of a dimension so that everything isn't the same color. On the table, I have this lovely faux flower that I custom made. And there's, I have a video showing you guys how to custom make flowers as well. And it's I set that in a gold I love this gold vase that the flowers are sitting inside of and then I just added a different color, the blue and the white uh, vases on top of the table. The table is an old fire pit table that I painted out white and I placed a glass uh, top on that and I just love the way all of it came together. So. I'm using things that I've had for years and I'm just painting them out with fresh coat of paint and bringing in other elements. The vase and the ginger jars are different heights and it adds a different dimension and Decorating texture. Decorating the fireplace in itself up, this fireplace is 20 years old and it's been several colors. Currently it's gray uh, with a black trim and I've just placed a large charger that I actually purchased about five years ago, guys, from Pier 1, and I think Pier 1 has closed, but this has been outdoor for five years. The charger, the white vase, the mercury ball that you see, all of those elements are old, and um, if you choose the right elements and just place it outside, it still works. I love this view and it's just coming from a different angle and it's giving you guys an opportunity to see more of the vases that are outside with the different pillows. Across from this area you see another small dining table set up.
Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today we are in the outdoor living room space and I cannot wait to share with you guys what I've come up with this year. So the question came up as to why do we have an outdoor living space? And for me, it's just to connect with nature, to be outside. It relaxes me, it reduces my stress level, and it's good for your health. This is why I put so much energy, or a little energy, or maybe too much energy, into the outdoor living space. It is everything. It is an extension of my interior home, but mainly when we're outside in the summer, spring, and early winter, it is absolutely amazing. This year, it's no different. I started off cleaning things with the pressure washer and the sprayer. And I wanted to address some of the vegetation issues, i.e. a lack of flowers, real flowers in the backyard. I went over to Home Depot because my rose bushes were just hanging all over the place. I know I, you would say, where is the gardener? Well, when I see him, I will address these issues. But in the meantime, in between time, I went over to Home Depot to find all of the things that I needed in order to get these bushes upright again. The tool that you see me utilizing is a tool that I picked up at Amazon. And I'll put the link below. And what it does is it softens up the dirt and it allows you to plant every year or throughout the season more efficiently. My rose area or my planter for these impatience that I'm gonna be using pretty much is hard because it's covered with the roots from the palm trees. The palm trees have been here over 20 years and they are just growing outrageous. So this tool allows me to loosen up the soil, plant my, flo my flowers and be more efficient a lot faster. I love the color of the Impatient. Uh, I decided to get multi, so there's pink, whites, loaves of color, and different variations in the pink. So that's all that I'm gonna have for real plants other than the rose bushes, which you don't really need to do too much for them to flourish. So I cleaned up everything and I took the sofa that was in this area from last year, if you recall, and I placed it in the balcony patio. That was amazing. This entire past year, enjoying that space with the sofa and the turf. I loved walking out on the turf instead of a dirty surface or every time I wanted to go out, I needed to clean up, sweep up the area from the dust. With the turf, that's not necessarily needed. I'll come back to the turf a little bit later. Making the decision as to how I wanted to utilize the space, I decided to take two chairs from this location and two chairs from another area and paint them out black. I think that was one of the most impactful and best decisions that I made was to paint out the chairs black. They are simply gorgeous. Painting out the furniture was so easy. I have this paint sprayer and that was another good investment. I think I want to say a couple of years ago was to purchase the sprayer. The prep work or prepping for the painting is the hardest part. Once you prep and make sure everything else is covered up, you're literally spraying patio furniture. I think I sprayed these four chairs in about five, 10 minutes. Let it dry and then spray on a second coat. Now you guys know I love a crisp, white pillow cover or cushion cover. And this year I needed to replace some of the cushions that I previously utilized because we store them outdoors and 
The weather was so bad, I didn't know that the lid had come off of the container that the pillow cushions are stored in. I get a lot of questions about the covers. All I do is get fabric, take it to my local upholstery, and ask them to make pillow covers for me. You can do the same thing and switch your colors from year to year if that's what you choose to do. The fabric that I'm using, it's not an outdoor fabric. It is a simple cotton fabric and it's pre-washed. No matter the color, whether I'm using white or the green that I have at the fireplace, obviously it is a good fabric, but I sit them out and I've had the green fabric for about three years now. And this white, prior to me replacing this set, maybe about six years, it lasts a long time. Next, I wanted to add a console table. I do not want to spend money unnecessarily and I want to use what I already have. I decided to take two planners and create a console table out of the two planners. And this is how I created the beautiful new console table that I absolutely love. The table is two by 10 by 72. I made sure that it was long enough for me to utilize for a number of reasons. One would be to place drinks on behind the chairs, or I can turn it into a serving buffet and place food items or hot trays when we're outdoor dining. I'm just taking the vases that I had outdoor in another area and I'm actually going to affix them to the board with L brackets. Really simple, very inexpensive. So what you see is I'm drilling the L brackets into the board and then I'll place the vase in between all four brackets. The opening of the vase is a lot larger than the diameter of the board, so I flip the vase and the bottom would be attached to the board and the traditional opening of the vase will be placed on the ground. Totally love the way this turned out very inexpensive. I used what I already had and I just attached it with L brackets. I debated back and forth as to whether or not I was going to place a rug on top of the turf, which is not a big deal. I place indoor rugs outdoors all the time, but I didn't know if I wanted to see more of the green turf or if I wanted to create that contrast. So I elected to choose this rug, which is a white wool rug, and it has very little uh, contrasting colors, some black, some gray, and it has a scroll pattern. Absolutely gorgeous. And what I get from the contrast between the turf and the rug, it's nothing short of amazing. Now let's talk about this gorgeous cocktail table. <laughs> Another one of my finds, I was at my local home goods store and the top of the table is actually a piece of wall art and I decided to make a table out of the wall art. Love, love, love. It is 36 inches in diameter and it's white. It has a scroll pattern on top of the table to give me texture that I'm looking for. The base of the table is just a random table that I had outside in another location and I decided to put things together with the L brackets. L brackets are $2, so now I have a gorgeous cocktail table which is perfect.
I love a great cocktail table in any decor setting because it sets the tone and it's usually the centerpiece or one focal point in a room. Uh, this is no different. I love to see color, so I am setting this cocktail table to look absolutely amazing from inside and out. Next, I painted some vases that I picked up for like $39. This is what the vase looked like before. It has like a gray and white speckle, which was not gonna work for my decor style. I wanna use very little gray and minimize the number of colors with one punch of color. So I painted these out black and they are simply gorgeous. The black is so rich and it just complements everything going on. Then I decided to take the topiary I wanted to place the topiary inside of the black vase, but obviously the box was too large. This is the way I purchased the topiary with the boxwood around it because it's supposed to be a boxwood topiary. I removed the box, placed the topiary inside of the black vase, and added lighting just for a small detail. For a punch of color, I'm adding fuchsia or pink or hot pink and <laughs> everything came together absolutely amazing. I love this hot pink. I simply love the color. Uh, pink for the season is a little unusual for outdoor living spaces, but I am simply loving it. The branches look so real. So I've got so much of the white and black going on, popping in a fuchsia color or any color, any color for a punch of color is absolutely the ticket. It's that contrast, the pink against the white, the black against the white, the gray against the white. Contrast is what creates the interest for this space. Next, I decided to round out the space by placing the round tables at each end. The tables are a glass top, but it was a see-through glass top. I wanted to create as much white as possible, so I painted out the glass top. So that is that added texture of layers on top of layers, and it just extends my color palette. Next are these wood candle holders that I found at Hobby Lobby. They were the perfect height, but I didn't want to use wood in this area, and I painted them out white. I will place the candle holders on the console table. At first I thought about putting another plant back there, but I wanted to create more white more depth for color behind this gorgeous fuchsia. Some of the candle holders are glass clear and some of them are painted white and it turned out absolutely perfect. Moving to the concrete seating area, I added more greenery, more plants, and more luscious vuva. I don't even know if that's a word, but I wanted everything to be extremely luscious. And the vases are not new and the plants aren't new. I just placed different plants that I already had inside of the vase. I used noodles to center it instead of sand or dirt, which makes it very difficult when you wanna move a pot around. You 
So with the noodles, it's not heavy and I feel so comfortable moving pots around freely when I just want to make a simple change. The pots are different height. One is large. It is actually the same pot that I have made the console table out of and I placed a topiary. Both flower pots are lit with solar lights and which is gorgeous at night. The solar base is sitting behind the plant and it's getting enough sun during the day and at night it automatically comes on. I recommend that you guys seriously consider purchasing these twinkle lights. They light up any space. I have used them over the entire backyard. I will be placing them in the dining area. I can't wait for you guys to see what my final look for the dining room will be this summer. Since I moved the cocktail table to the center of the living room, I moved the fire pit over to the side. I did want to continue and enjoy that fire pit on more cooler nights, and I think it's in the perfect spot. Adds to the decor, and I absolutely love it. The cream de la cream in the outdoor living space, I think, is the wall art that is behind me. This art was originally in the living room maybe three or four years ago. Now I've placed it outside and it stands center stage and ready for the bow. Absolutely love it. It completes the space and it really allows my outdoor living to feel like I'm indoors and that is the goal to create a space outdoor that I would love to sit in. It has every single color that I am utilizing in the outdoor space. The pink, beige, the black, the white. Absolutely gorgeous. It just brings everything together and creates the perfect outdoor living space. Enjoy the reveal. I hope that you guys will get some tips and some tricks that you can utilize in your space. Until next time, make every single day a great day.
like this video, hit that like button or subscribe. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today's video is all about the backyard patio makeover. I'm going to show you how we went from this to a spectacular space, outdoor living that everyone can enjoy. Today is pretty much installation day and we're gonna install lights, pillows, rugs, glamorous and inviting and ultra welcoming. Although I added floral and plants in the landscaping, I wanted to add a little bit more. So I went out and searched for pots. I needed to spray them because the size is perfect. It's very contemporary, straight lines, but the color, I did not want black on this patio area because I had enough black in the mulch. So I'm spray painting this white and I can't wait to show you guys the end result. 
They came out absolutely amazing. Adding just a little bit faux floral on the table. It's a small table in the back area. I purchased these individual floral picks from Home Goods or Hobby Lobby. And all I'm going to do is place them inside of a vase. The color blue is the color that we're accenting in this outdoor space. I've got a bouquet of roses, some carnations, and I'm just going to place them in here. I love the type of arrangement because you can just switch it out with the season. It's not fussy. You don't need hot glue. All you need to do is Purchase the floral that you love and pack it in there and put it together and it's going to have an impact. Now pretty much it's time to decide on the rug that we're going to lay out. So I chose this blue and white rug because I know that I'm going to be working with some yellow pillows and all of those colors work well together. So I'm just deciding on which orientation I'm going to place the rug because there's two columns that are a little awkward positioned. So they sort of break up my living room somewhat. It's going to be crucial the way that I place the rug in order to keep an outdoor living room environment. I do bring in indoor furniture outside so you see me placing this sofa console table which is gold. I'll place it outside on the rug and then we're going to start bringing in patio furniture. The furniture has been placed and now I'm switching out the cushions and you guys have seen me do this quite often. I love a crisp white cushion. Most cushions when you purchase it from a store it's like an off gray or a taupe and it just doesn't come alive. But if you're purchasing something from Restoration Hardware, what they advertise for sale are white. You can choose different colors but for the most part if you're looking for a rich contemporary look, having a white cushion is the way to go. This propane fireplace set is to die for. I've used it numerous times on multiple projects and I absolutely love it. You have the fireside table that it surrounds it so you can place glasses or you can place cups or some hors d'oeuvres on the table and it's absolutely wonderful. I get asked a lot, why do I place outdoor, indoor lamps outside? And one of the reasons is because I want to create that indoor living room feel, but outdoor. And that's a great tip. Bring in things that you would ordinarily have indoors, outdoors. So what you see now is I'm placing sandbags and I'm tying them around the lamp so that if there's bad weather, the lamp will not fall over and it weighs down the lamp. So that's a great tip. You guys can do the same thing. 
I've added color floral behind the sofa on the console table. Now those plants are live plants. It's just a fuchsia color that I wanted to bring in with the green. Then above guys, I have the light fixtures for chandeliers and they're from Ikea. These are those gorgeous white vases. I painted them white, I purchased them black, and I'm just sitting them out just outside of the living room area. I'm going to place some live plants in there just to add another punch of color. It is a punch of color. I think it's gonna be that extra wow factor that I'm looking for. Check out this final reveal and enjoy the remainder of the video. Love, love, love this project and the way this patio turned out. Remember, this was the client's old patio furniture. This furniture is about eight or nine years old, but just changing out the cushion covers, it gives it a fresh take on an old backyard.
like this video guys please subscribe outdoors backyard having fun entertaining and just living our best lives outdoor i've been doing quite a few outdoor projects and i just wanted to share some ideas with you guys some of these things are super super simple but sometimes the most simplistic thing will give us the best joy enjoy the video i hope you guys get some ideas and that you're truly inspired until next time make every day a great day
see for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it Watch me break it Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today's video is all about the outdoors and I want to share with you my balcony. This is a project that I have been trying to get to for some time now so let's get started. I started out removing the items that I had 
from last year and as you can see the balcony area was pretty sad i just had a couple of chairs there the surface that you see is something that is new prior to this and i hopefully i can find some images to show you guys i had a tile floor there and it was gorgeous with the medallion but it was improperly installed mildew and mold on the bottom side of the balcony so i took it up i removed that tile and now what you see is the correct way you're supposed to seal the balcony and have water protection Currently what I'm doing now after cleaning up is I'm spraying for ants or spiders or any other kind of bug. This spray is amazing. When I say no ants, no spiders, no bugs, I mean zero. I purchased this from Amazon. I will definitely link it below. This is turf that I purchased a couple of years ago. So that's how long I have been trying to execute this balcony and make it an oasis, another oasis for me to just relax and unwind in. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's green. And I thought about instead of looking at the finished waterproofing deck, I want to see something that's gorgeous. I'm going to cut this turf and it's so super easy to cut their perforated lines and you can just follow that and get a straight razor or any other type of utensil that you have and just start cutting. It was super easy. I thought it was going to be difficult, but it was not. Now I'm placing the turf on the balcony itself and I'm just making some smaller cuts around the edge here. And again, it was just super easy to roll out on with the furniture i wanted to purchase a new sofa and i'm like uh i've got too many sofas already outdoors you guys remember this sofa it was downstairs in the outdoor living room i purchased a handheld sprayer because i don't know i've seen it a thousand times so i said i can do the same thing myself this sprayer i'll link below as well it was very very simple to work with you just place the paint inside of the container and then start spraying it literally took me about maybe five minutes per spray and I actually have two coats on this sofa. While that's drying, I'm back out to the balcony and I'm placing some pots. You pick these up at your local home goods store and I'm placing some holes in the bottom of the pot so that when it rains, because I plan on leaving these things out year round, and there's no cover above this balcony. So when it rains, the water will just go through the pot and drain on out. I've already got started placing one of my branches. The Well, actually, this is a white tree that was on the front porch for years, but I'm switching that around, so I want to reuse what I already have. I absolutely love these trees. It's seven feet tall, and I'm placing them in the new potters. adding some sand so it balances the weight. When the wind gets heavy or the weather changes, the sand will allow the pot not to tumble over. 
This one is my largest tree, and this is an eight foot tall white tree. And it's actually real branches that I've spray painted white. When this is all said and done, you guys will get a chance to see what that looks like. It is just a gorgeous look. It makes it fresh, contemporary, and I absolutely love it. Since I'm working with an eight foot tall tree, I needed to get a super tall ladder. I'm going to place the twinkle lights on the tree. You guys know how I love lighting up a space and at night it just comes alive and it's just so relaxing and inviting. I am placing these on each individual branch. This boxwood is just another item that I purchased and I love it. It gives me privacy from my neighbors and it just finishes off the space very, very well. And right now I am placing more twinkle lights around the boxwood. Probably should have added even more, but I didn't. I said, I'm not gonna go crazy with the lights. So I just added a few. Now that my sofa has been painted, I'm struggling here a little bit, but I'm gonna place it and sit it in the area. Why did I change colors? I don't know. I'm just in this white phase right now and I wanted everything light, bright, and white. Since it's a rattan, I'm pretty sure that I can repaint it another color should I desire to do so. Adding this outdoor indoor rug for texture and color. Currently, you guys are looking at some of my branches that I've had for years. I'm just reusing and repurposing. I will be placing these branches inside of a new pot that I purchased and spray painted it white. This is the pot, but it's not a deep pot, so I need it to create something that I can actually attach the branches to, and that's why I will be installing this two by two piece of wood through the hole in the bottom of the pot, and then I'll be able to attach the branches to the pole. Fun time. 
all the hard work is done. It's just time to make everything gorgeous. And I am adding these yellow stem florals because I'm all into yellow for this outdoor season. And it's just bright, it's sunny, it's fun for me. So I will be making several of these arrangements. The first one will go inside of a large wicker basket that I purchased from, uh, what is the name of the store? You guys have seen me do this before. Change the cushion color by adding slip cover, pillow covers. It just changes everything all out. I will go to a local upholstery place and ask if they would make these for me with fabric. It's a cotton fabric, machine washable. I actually just took these out of the uh, dryer. So that's the reason why they're a little wrinkly, but since it's outdoors, the sun will take away and melt all the wrinkles away here in Southern California. Installing a couple of other decorative pots. You see the round pot on top of the pie laster that I just completed adding that post to. And now I'm installing natural branches. Now these are beechwood. I'm gonna keep the ones below in the natural beechwood color, which I love. Giving that contrast between the white painted branches and the natural beechwood color. That beechwood color ties in very well with the outdoor jute rug that I've placed down below. So all of these colors are gonna tie in. I'm just adding some additional color floral in the opposite pots, the large trees, because they're just white, just to fill it up a little bit since they're a little sparse. Now the stems are artificial, so they'll last with this color for at least a couple of years. I always like to create my outdoor spaces to appear indoors. So I'm going to add some wall art, outdoor lamps, accessories, and just really make it feel outdoors. Now this lamp, the uh, heat lamp that you guys see is in the corner. I couldn't get rid of it. Uh, it is a little unsightly, but it does a great job when it's time to sit out at night when it's not summer because I plan on using this space year round. Enjoy the remainder of the video. Let me know your thoughts on what you guys are doing this year for your special space. Are you creating or decorating your balcony, your patio? How are you enjoying your summer? Until next time, make every day a great day. Cause
that is what my heart says That's what my heart says I wanna be with you always You are my world in every place It's the things I do do And it's the smile on your face
Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. This is our third section for the patio this summer. This is my love language. I am enjoying this. It does take a lot of time. We're outdoors. I, I'm not mic'd up, so excuse the barking dog, the airplanes, the water, everything that's going on. But I'm outdoors and I'm having a great time. The first section was the living room, then we have the dining area, and this is pretty much called just another lounge area. There's actually four sections to this back patio, but I will be addressing three. It is a little late this year for setting up, but we're, I'm in California and we're still troubled with morning drizzles. It's beautiful right now, it's about 74 degrees and there is, the weather's perfect, but in the morning sometimes it is a drizzle or a light rain. And even though we're underneath the patio, I do have some rugs that may be exposed that I don't necessarily want to get wet. Taking my time getting this together, it will probably be a very hot summer. And I'm not sure what is wrong with this barking dog, but oh well, we in America love our dogs, right? I'm gonna start by painting another layer of paint on this glass tabletop, it was glass. I do have a video as to how you can paint your glass tabletops a color. I've had this table for about, I don't know, gosh, over 20 years. At first the table was, this is from the old Bombay, the Bombay store. Leave a comment for all of you guys that remember the Bombay. So it was inside of the house when I first purchased it. The bottom of it was the iron, the iron color wrought iron. It has been black, now it's white. I keep things for a very long time. So it will come out and have another life at a different time. Way, I hope, I think, I can. A little bit. Let's see. Okay, guys, I just decided to give up on speaking and decided to do a voiceover. Right now, I am editing out the space, just removing items that I probably will not use. decided to spray the area that I will have furniture or seating placement and this spray I cannot speak enough about I will leave a link in the description no bugs no ants nothing nada it is wonderful and one spray pretty much in the beginning of the season the summer and it will last me throughout until we get another rain absolutely love this stuff. I use it around the entire property. I'm working with a lot of black this year for 2023 and it's just a classic clean color. I'm adding the stripe to have interest. that you are your own producer of this project. I'm my own editor of the project. As I'm going along, I have things in my mind that I actually want to do, but it all depends on the way it folds out. This isn't pre-planned. 
just the general concept is. I'm allowed to edit just like you are allowed to edit whatever it is that you want in your home, as long as you're creating your own utopia and you're making your home your sanctuary. Enjoy the process along with me, starting off with this striped rug. For this area, I decided on orange terracotta being my pop of color, and I will combine the two rugs, the orange and the black. It is loads of texture, color, and interest in the space. And I absolutely love it. The black and white striped is an outdoor rug. The terracotta orange print rug is an indoor rug, but I love it. I don't care that it's indoor. I will be utilizing it. It's a five by seven, and I will take an indoor rug, use it outside all day long, as long as it's very pleasing to the eye and I try to make sure that I maintain it as best as possible. Let's talk about these chairs. The chairs were white and they were great as a white color, but when I painted them black, it gave the chair new life. That black with the terracotta and the stripe it is absolutely gorgeous. The chairs look rich. They look brand new. These are the chairs. They were off-white, white color. Over the years, they turned into an off-white. I'm so glad that I painted them black because now the chair has taken on a new meaning. Next, I'm bringing in this small table and I'm using it as a base for the glass tabletop that I painted previously. And I needed something round. I wanted it to be pretty low profile to the ground, but not super, super low. I love the detail of the wire. We're not going to see the wood, but that's okay. It is just the black wire with the scroll pattern that I absolutely love. I'm going to try to move this table and <laughs> get it over to the new location without breaking the top. I'm spraying the finish enamel to give it a little bit more protection and I really think it's going to work. I'm hoping it does work. Bringing in the remaining two chairs, there will be four chairs in this area. Cleaning off the back mirror. This mirror stays out year round, but you can see all of the dirt on the right corner and what it looks like when it's cleaned on the left side.
I purchased the jute cushion at my local home goods. I thought it was just perfect. It allows more comfort in the chair because this is a hard plastic chair and just to have a little bit more comfort, you'll sit longer. Loving the way things are coming together with the white table, the wired base, the black chairs. Decided to add a beige pillow. Next, I'm addressing the tree base, the planter, and there's a simple trick. I went over to the local 99 cent store and picked up the Pool noodles they're only like a dollar I will cut them to size different sizes it really doesn't matter I will use them to add filler inside of the vase the fun part it's time to decorate the table has dried I can start bringing things onto the table that I want to see every day that I absolutely love. The candles that I'm placing on the table are battery operated. I found them in the corner, probably purchased them some time ago for a client and decided not to use them, but it's going to be to my advantage because I'm using them now. They're battery operated and you have a remote control. Enjoy the remaining of the video. Leave a comment and let me know what was your favorite part. Until next time, make every single day a great day. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Don't love, they're like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my lips
If you like this video, hit that like button or subscribe. You will be notified each time there is a new upload. Until next time, make every day a great day.